So, Bobby, we're just setting up for another session. Uh, how have you found training so far? Uh, credit to all the boys and everyone at the football club. Um, we've come in and we've been working extremely hard. Uh, we continue. We started last week and done a double session on um, on Saturday and done a lot of work in the classroom as well. So um, preparations going okay. I'm really pleased with everyone's uh, commitment and standards. And um, yes, yeah, uh, really enjoyable. And it was a busy summer at the club in which you got a lot of your business done very early. <clears throat> How happy are you with your squad? And could we be seeing some more incomings through the door before the opener? Yeah, it was a really busy summer. Um, everyone knows I like to work uh, extremely hard, uh, especially in the off season. The, the six weeks are very important to a football club because you want to get the right caliber of player. You want to uh, bring good people to the football club. And you know, if you, uh, someone said to me last week, oh, you signed quite a few players. Well, I had to rebuild from the very uh, bottom. Um, so we had to make sure we had uh, good players, good people to come into the football club. So uh, we're going with an 18-man squad this year. Of course, we're going to go um, an extra couple of players in pre-season because you might pick up one or two injuries. Um, but we kept three or four on from last year and then we had to bring in new players, good people to the football club. So uh, yes, there'll be at least another two, three more signings to make it up to 18 man squad but remember you can only take 16 when the opening season starts yeah. uh, or 17 so um, yeah looking forward to that challenging um, times to bring it down to 16 for the August the 10th but yeah. uh, you're going to pick up one or two injuries or one or two might not like it being here they might feel like they're not going to get into the squad that's football that's the nature of the beast I'm afraid to say but uh, time August the 10th comes hopefully we'll have a, a settled side and a good squad here to uh, um, you know have a good season next year and uh, going on to you how have your staff and yourself found settling in the club so far I have to say it's been brilliant since we came in, you know, uh, I think it took me three or four interviews to get the job when uh, Dave phoned me up to come and see him, um, but listen, that's the way it is. We came in a week before the end of the season. Um, a few people might have looked at that and thought, cool, what are you doing that for? Because they could have gone down. Because when I took the job, um, we could have gone to the final uh, day of the season. But yeah. lucky enough, uh, things turned around where we didn't and we could go and enjoy it. But what it did do, it it brought a little bit of a, a situation where I could come in and study it in that week. And I was here uh, two or three games before the end of the season to look at uh, the squad anyway. So it was very, very good um, to see that. And I think that helped us. But I have to say the chair has been first class. Um, he's always had a reputation of uh, backing his managers and supporting. Um, he's certainly done that for me and my staff and, and everyone and uh, my family. We, we've really enjoyed being here. I've spent a lot of time up here in the last six weeks. I, I've had a lot of late nights traveling down the motorway at one o'clock in the morning when I've left Dave here at uh, half 11, 12. But, you know, it was, it was, uh, a very very busy schedule because I like to meet players face to face and spend a good 45 minutes with them and I travelled and lot, met a few of them at their houses and uh, I met a lot of them at different services because I don't like speaking to players over phones I like to do it face to face because I think it's very professional to do it that way um, but yeah it's been really really enjoyable and the standards have been very very good since I came in without the change a hell of a lot I, I, will, yeah. I will admit that there's a lot of things here that I didn't think was brilliant um, but the chairman's backed me in every department and it's going to give us a chance uh, listen it's about fitness it's about bringing this group together uh, that's certainly been happening already we've had a few beers together as well uh, after Saturday we had an in-house um, game uh, Saturday where I could look at some youngsters uh, I chose this game first because it's my old football club uh, they're step free they should have been promoted by now but a lot of the players are still my players so they will want to beat us so you know it's like if we played when we played Willstone and Barnet we want to beat them you know for some reason you always try to yeah. beat the bigger side so I didn't want it to be a friendly I wanted it to be a competitive game I don't believe in friendlies but I want to get something out of the game and what it will be will be you know everyone working hard fitness the result won't matter to me after but when I turn up I want to win but the result as long as I see some improvement in fitness and the team gelling together um, that's why I brought the friendly in really early doors and then we got another friendly here on um, Tuesday because you are now preparing from this moment for August the 10th because these six weeks are what defines your season if you get a good squad and get that winning mentality and good people it always will end up having a good season I'm not going to say where we're going to end up but it 
definitely starts this Saturday against a very good Bracknell side. Uh, another good club that I enjoyed two brilliant years at with a promotion. And um, I'll go there to win. There's no friends uh, yeah. on Saturday, but we're looking forward to it. Perfect. Thank Cheers. You very much. Thanks very much.